every spirit that says kill yourself is of the devil every spirit that says go to the river and fall down enter a well take knife take guns kill yourself swallow whatever kind of go and drug abuse and you would think that it's just for people who are poor people who are downcast intelligent people educated people victims of this spirit how about patterns of diseases please listen i told you about the restoration of the healing anointing before jesus returns it is not just my proposition the word of god attests to it those who have gone ahead of us listen when we pray for people to be healed it is more than just a man of god displaying anointing one of the major and most effective tools that the devil has used through the ages and is even using in this end time to cut short the lives of people listen carefully is sickness and diseases mysterious diseases that have no medical explanation it looks like cancer but it's not cancer it looks like a blood pressure but it's not blood pressure thank God for tongue-talking doctors that we have that are helping patients now to make sense of spiritual things there are many doctors that will call patients aside and say listen I am a medical practitioner I'm bound by the ethics and the conduct of my profession but let me tell you I am a man of God and I'm a woman of God if you know a man of God who is anointed run there first while we are treating you because this one is more than headache hallelujah patterns of sickness especially when people get to certain age now there are biological realities that are there and, and there's a place to manage them but listen let me tell you it's, it's like there is an there is an onslaught of mysterious diseases and infirmities there are people who cannot eat i was ministering at the miracle service yesterday and the lord brought a word about a gentleman fine young man and this gentleman anything he eats he will throw it up are we together mysterious sicknesses a little girl 13 year old you know could not move her fingers like this let me tell you the truth don't tolerate sickness don't tolerate sickness i repeat don't tolerate sickness apostle but i'm currently not feeling fine don't worry thank god for the medical attention doctors are instruments of god's mercy however we are not fools we know when this thing is a spirit are we together yes sir and let me speak over someone in the name of jesus that disease that has defied medicine that disease that has defied do you know listen before i pray for you i once ministered to a woman i could not believe it if not because i'm surrounded by doctors i probably would think it's a lie 33 surgeries how many 33 what part of your body is left 33 surgeries they remove this it reappears they do this one it appears somewhere have you heard people say i feel something moving in my body today is on my head tomorrow is on my chest let me speak to you if there is any spirit moving roaming around your body in the name of jesus the lord sent you here tonight i i break that curse from your life now i break that curse from your life now listen now sickness how about accidents I've had the honor of praying for people and visiting a few in the hospital and let me tell you don't think it's everyone who has accident that was careless some of them will tell you my steering locked I tried to move it I was not sleeping I know someone who just said he was driving and the place just went dark like that and the next thing he knew he was in the hospital plotters of evil i pray for someone in the name of jesus christ every arrow that flies by day the noisome pestilence please receive this oath in the name of jesus christ evil that is plotted against you it returns back to the devil back to the devil back to the devil hallelujah praise the lord The worst flight issue I've had in my life one time, it was a very short journey. I don't know what happened. And it was a very, just a very short distance and we were in the air. And that plane, it was as if a spirit just held it. And said, everybody in this plane today, just know that it's over. It was shaking left and right. And when the pilot started talking, his voice was shaking. And then I sat down. I said no I have no covenant with death not through a plane when we landed everybody clapped everybody clapped because people were already thinking oh God so this is was this the plan when I left home this morning if it will crash you will not enter 
in the name of Jesus I say it again if it will crash you will not enter by all means if it will crash you will not enter but if you enter may it not crash hallelujah praise the name of the Lord that someone is driving now people have their individual carelessness don't get don't get me wrong there are people who are very careless but someone is driving and suddenly the car loses control no brakes no nothing the brake is not working again and here is a trailer coming no he shall keep his angels charge over you koinonia hear me i stand by the god of heaven we will not bury anybody in this place Please sit down. It is a thief that comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And the major tools that Satan has used is accidents and sicknesses, mysterious, inexplainable sicknesses. Now the one that is already becoming a trend is people just dying in their sleep. Have you heard of such things? That someone just goes in peace and lies down sometimes 10 minutes and you see them jacking, trying, you know, this kind of demonic thing has happened to me before, so I understand. It has happened to some of you if you are honest. You try to wake up and it looks like you cannot wake up. The Bible says, I lay me down and I slept. It said, I wake. Whatever does not want you to wake up, I curse it now. I curse it now. I curse it now. Help them please. I curse it now. I curse it now. I lay me down and I slept. I wake for the Lord sustained me listen i remember those days it was it was almost like a nightmare to go to bed once it is evening i just begin to think i hope this battle will not come and you lie down sometimes you can be hearing people physically talking but to wake up if you are going through this experience don't keep quiet i'm praying for you now it's a demonic thing it's the spirit of death i reject it from your life now I lay me down and I slept. I wait for the Lord sustains me. That you go to bed and wake up. Now hear me. One of the ways that Satan hijacks people is by connecting them to the spirit of the grave using the face of dead people. That people have, you have no business, hear me. There is the spirits of just men made perfect, but there is the spirit of death using the faces of men. Anybody visiting you, any stranger manipulating you, coming in your dreams, coming in your sleep, using the faces of people, saying, let us go, let us go. I cut you away from them right now. I cut you away from them right now. I cut you away from them right now. Hear me. Let me pray for every parent here. The spirit that says you will not reap from your children, that with your own hands you will bury your children. I stand by the God who called me and I declare the spirit of untimely death is caused from your children. Caused from your children. You will not sit down thinking your child is in school. Then they will send you an evil report. Listen, I'm not trying to play with your emotions. We are dealing with serious things here. Do you know, I remember a time, sometime in Joss, when they said, you know, children go to play around the river or so during Christmas. And one gentleman just went there and that was it. Just drowned in a river. I forbid that from your children. Sickness, accidents, and manipulating the realm of the spirit and just taking people away. You see, let me give you, sit down please, sit down, sit down. Let me encourage you if you can, huh? by the grace of God, if God grants you the grace and the time, one of these days, just take 15 minutes, walk with a doctor and visit the hospitals. Even if it's just to bless the patients and say hello, something will happen to your mind. You will see the reality of evil. Hallelujah. Honestly, everybody understands this message, but the people who really understand this message are doctors and medics because they see this every day. Accidents. You just hear that someone said, let me quickly go and um, let me buy something and come back, wait for me. And the next thing they call you and say, are you related to so, so, so and so? He's gone. 
don't say it is the will of God I'm telling you again the will of God is revealed in his word 